Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're using the best dynamic duo, I think in the history of my team, Billy Knight and Mike Bantam, two guys who are top two cards at their position in the entire game, even as Galaxy Opals. As Opals, I think Billy is the second best shooting guard and Mike is the best small forward in my team. Now this duo takes them both to Dark Matters, gives them 15 extra Hall of Fame badges and just makes them even better, which is absolutely crazy. Now, admittedly, it is hard to get either of these cards simply because they are both rng bantam you get from rng in online modes like triple threat online co-op clutch time online and unlimited versus billy and I, who you can get in clutch time offline or in the triple threat offline vault but if you do get lucky enough to get both of them like my boy crab did and huge shout out to him for letting me use his account to record this gameplay i really do appreciate it but if you get both you have a duo here that is going to be absolutely unbelievable in my team. As y'all can see, Billy he is 6'6", the shooting guard position. With the boost, he gets up to a 96 driving layup, still has a 92 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 92 ball handle. Great defender, his interior defense gets boosted. 95 speed and excel gets a little bit of a boost to stamina, and then some mental boosts that don't mean much. But where the real boosts for these cards come in are the Hall of Fame badges. And I gotta pull up 2KDB to show you all the boosted Hall of Fame badges because they don't show up here in the menu, but they activate in game. So give me one second. I'll pull up 2k DB and I'm going to show you all the boosts for both of these cards real quickly. All right, so as y'all can see here, Billy Knight, he has 15 Hoffs, 36 cold badges on his base card, but with the duo enabled for Bantam, as y'all can see, he gets slight boosts across the board to some of his stats and things like that, but what really improves is the fact that now he has Hoff Acrobat, Hoff Giant Slayer, Hoff Pro Touch, Hoff Blinders, Hoff Corner Specialist, Hoff Guard Up, Hoff Green Machine, Hoff Space Creator, Hoff Hyperdrive, Hoff Unpluckable, Hoff Challenger, Hoff Interceptor, Hoff Off Ball Pest, Hoff Pick Dodger, and Hoff Workhorse. 15 extra Hall of Fame badges on this card just makes him even more elite. And none of, not, I wouldn't say most of them are like crucial hops, but there's some nice ones. Blinders, Corner Specialist, Guard Up, Space Creator, Hyperdrive, Unpluckable, Challenger, Interceptor, Pick Dodger. Some really good extra hops in there and some that aren't quite as good like Giant Slayer and Acrobat. But additionally, Mike Bantam, same thing. Gets 15 extra Hall of Fame batters on his cards. Slight stat boost, a little bit to interior and steel. Slightly better shooting. Uh, one driving dunk, one vertical, one's two strength. So a couple stats there here and there. But what again, really benefits this card is all the extra hops. Acrobat, Aerial Wizard, Post Pentagon. Pro Touch, Fearless Finisher, Giant Slayer, Clutch Shooter, Deadeye, Green Machine, Mini Magician, Slippery Off Ball, Box Out Beast, Brick Wall, Pogo Stick, Rebound Chaser. Again, both of these cards become significantly better because they each get 15 extra Hall of Fame badges on their base card, which makes them significantly more elite. And I mean, like I said, before the duo, they were already both absolutely elite top tier cards at their positions. So I got to say, I'm super excited to hop into the game today, try out both of these cards now that they're Evo to Dark Matter and see how good they really are in my team. All right, so I thought it'd be a good idea to re-familiarize with y'all with their SIGs, especially if y'all didn't see my first video, but Bantam has a great size up. He's got Donovan Mitchell size up, Kuzma base, an elite release. He's an amazing slasher. His play, player build is exceptional at six foot nine. Um, he's got elite dunk animations. He's an incredible card. All the way around, SIGs, animations, all that stuff is elite on Bantam. And Billy Knight is the exact same. I mean, they have the best SIGs, or not maybe the best SIGs in the game, but right up there near the top. Lillard behind the back as well. And then you come over here and look at Billy Carter, and, or Billy Knight, I should say. And it's the same thing on these cards they both become significantly better because the badges but their animations are already elite i mean good size up here for billy as well he's also got i think it's the donna mitchell size i'm pretty sure uh, another guy with a great release as well rudy gay base with a great upper on quick uh, also an elite slasher with great dunk animations i mean he's another card has that little behind the back in the full court as well so he's another card with elite sigs elite animations and an amazing jump shot to go along with now having much better uh, all around badges for the card which is just super nice just makes them even more complete and even more good than they already were so with that being said let's hop into a game now let's use both these cards and let's see how great this duo really is all right, our opponents got AI, Dame at the two, KD, Diamond Shack, and Bobby Port. It's not a great team by any means, for sure, but I'm just excited to use this duo. Two elite Dark Matter cards together is kind of crazy to me, to be completely honest. We got ourselves an incredible team. I got to say, like, Tracy McGrady is the best shooting guard in the game, and I still think, even with the extra badges, Billy's not the best shooting guard in the game, but having a duo like this with two free cards is just mind-boggling to me. I did not mean to spend, but we still got a wide open three, and of course, we're going to knock it down with Billy and his Hoff Limitless range, as well as, obviously, that great release. Uh, and that's the thing about both these 
these cards. Like they're both so elite that you don't, I mean, as free cards, like you don't need optional players, those positions because you get such good free cards um, in this game, especially if you get this duo, like you're looking at guys who are going to be elite level cards together for months. I mean, you could probably use these cards up till April, June, like a long, long time. Great pick and pop, easy catch and shoot in that Kuzma base. Bantam knocks it down as well. And we have a quick seven points between the two guys. Just kind of going to go back and forth and try to score all our points between these two players in this game, if at all possible. Good defense on AI as well. Get a hand up, good contest by Denny. And we're going to get ourselves a board. Billy's running in transition. See if we can find Bantam relocating across to the opposite corner. He does beautifully catch and shoot. And that's another easy bucket. Yes, sir. Just getting active so far. Four, one and two for Billy and Bantam with a quick six points. Both of them dominating this game already just over a minute into it. And it's just a duel like this is, I think one of the things that we've been asking for from 2K for a long time is duos that are actually like usable online, not just duos between gold cards or sapphires or even amethysts and diamonds. Like we want duos with some of the best cards in the game that really makes the best cards in the game even better, especially guys that are free cards. Like free card duos are even better because it makes these free cards usable for longer as Billy Knight knocks down a contested three with his elite release as well. Both of these cards are now so good and they already were. Great free cards are one of the best things that 2K can do to this game, uh, but now even they're even better. And it's just kind of crazy to think about how good these cards really are in my team uh, and how long they're going to last is the other really valuable thing that was a terrible pass by yeah i gotta say i don't know if he has break starter or not but that was a really bad pass um but regardless i mean I don't know, like this is, I, I, we've never really had great dynamic duos that I can think of. I really can't off the top of my head anyway, think of a single dynamic duo that we've gotten in the past few years that has been two elite level cards and made two of the best cards in the game who are God Squad level players even better. Like I can't remember that happening. And the fact that it's happened now, I think is a great thing for this game. Cause it again, incentivizes people even more to play the game, grind modes for these cards. It's kind of cool that one of them's offline and one of them's online as well. One thing I will say is I would have really liked to see these guys be actual games guaranteed cards in that if you win a certain number of games or whatever the case may be at least they have agendas or something where you can guarantee yourself the card because the fact that they are rng is something that i don't think is a net positive so i will say that because it is going to be harder because they're not guaranteed to grind for both cards and try to get them based off of rng but i will say it does seem like they made bantam at least relatively easy to get i've seen a lot of people get the card billionaire on the other hand seems like he's a lot tougher to get one of those triple thought offline cards like if y'all remember pink diamond terry and uh, Galaxy Opal Danny Fairy and 2K21 that were really hard to get. I think this card is kind of in that same range, which is unfortunate, but still, I mean, the fact is, the matter is, if you get both, you're getting two cards that can play in your lineup for months to come and are going to be elite top tier cards and even better when you are playing them together, which I think is a huge positive. Bantam with an easy steal here. He's pushing the ball in transition. He's got lock take, but I mean, we're on the offensive end of the court now. Running up the court. I'm just going to catch and shoot this because I don't think Dane's going to be able to contest. And I think I should have greened that to be completely honest and open. That's a shot I got to be able to green. Plain and simple. Dragon back though moving to the right back to the left bantam stop and pop over dame again and i shanked the release i felt it i was a little bit late on that. that's my fault but um yeah i mean both cards are doing great so far seven one and two and then nine one and one between the two guys bantam with another steal as well i didn't shoot it but uh, i guess okay whatever i don't really care that much but again bantam with his second steal of the game like these dudes are just hooping man plain and simple they're both elite level cards i mean we can see that in terms of their animations their badges all those things they're super complete and super good and it's nice to see a free card get even better to be completely honest catch and shoot again from the corner bantam what is going on i can't shoot all of a sudden the last couple shots i've missed were a little tougher but that's a wide open shot and i just shanked it like i felt it again it was early it's my fault but we got to be able to green plain and simple there's no way we should be missing wide open with cards like this that have this good of stats badges and especially releases uh, but sizing up again we're going to redeem you now bantam because we've missed a couple shots with you we're going to put one up and we're going to miss again fine i guess it's billy knight's turn because apparently i can't shoot okay never mind another wide open three we're not missing this one no way another assist for billy and another bucket for bantam sloppy missing a few shots in a row i gotta say but we do manage to knock that one down and i mean at this point we basically have an insurmountable lead as well which is what you love to see that might be green no it's not looked like he hit the green window but it didn't register as green so we will take that as well uh billy sizing up attacking the right back out to the pop i can't shoot with the op generally i would shoot that but this gameplay is these two guys and these two guys only as my scores i am shooting terribly right now i gotta say i'm missing some shots that i should never ever be missing so gotta be better in that aspect but besides that i mean they are playing at an incredibly high level for sure bantam with his second rebound he's gonna push it up gotta get billy back involved because we've been taking a lot of shots with bantam here recently catch and shoot billy easy green for him 
I mean, y'all see it, man. Two of the best cards in the game. Incredible releases, incredible sigs, the ability to create shots for themselves, elite level defenders, and now with all these extra hoffs, I mean, what else can you say to be completely honest? This is the type of dynamic duo that we've really never gotten in my team, and it's great to see it finally happen in this game. That's actually a heck of a move. If he had green, that would've been tough. But at this point, I mean, game's over. We just dominated single-handedly. These two guys won us the game by themselves, which is what you love to see, sizing up. You know what? Let's hop back to the main menu. Let's review this dynamic duo. I mean, plain and simple, this is the best dynamic duo we've ever seen in NBA 2K23. And if you can get these two cards together, I mean, it literally takes away your need for a shooting guard and small forward for the next several months. Like these guys can compete against any card in the game at a super elite level. I will say even with the Evo, Billy's still probably not better than T-Mac, but Mike is easily the best small forward in the game. Even without the even with the Evo, it even widens that gap further. So these are two of the best cards in my team. And having a duo like this is something that I'd like to see more of in the future um, because it's definitely a positive for the game. Inside people to grind the game and uh yeah i think it's a great thing for the mode so i uh, enjoyed doing gameplay with these two cards again shout out to my boy crabbed hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all base